So now that we know how to structure our queries, let's go ahead and practice some with real examples. So let's look at some of the questions. So you have a document on practice questions. The first one is find the products with text string CAF in their names. So it could be some product that has CAF in their name. So let's go ahead and see how do we do this query. So here is the database. The first question you have to ask is, is there a query within a query? So obviously, if you look at this particular question, find the products with text string CAF in their names, there is no query within a query. So there's a very simple query. So now we need to see what is that we want to display. So go back to the six steps. We're asking the question, select. What is that you want to select? You want to select the product, which is product name, from your table, broad coffees. So select your product. From which table? We know it's going to come from this particular table, broad coffee. Is there a condition? Yes, there is a condition. The condition is the text should have a string called calf. So now, whenever you want to put some text, it should be always within double quotes. If you're using Oracle or any of those other databases, then instead of double quote, you use a single quote like here. So whenever you have wild character, you, you're just looking for calf, it can any number of characters after calf, then you put a star. If you're using Oracle, use percentage. So let's go back to the six steps. We know what to select, where it comes from. We don't have a join condition, or, and, but you have a condition that is your where. You don't have to group by anything. You don't have to have having or order by. If you want, you can order by the product name. So let's go ahead and look at how do you use using visual query. And we'll do the same thing using SQL. So let's say create query design. So we clicked on query design. So now we know that the, the information is going to come from prod coffee. So select prod coffee and say add, close. So we want this product. If you want, you can look at product line, product type, you can display that information if you want to. So let's say type, just, just to show what happens. So we have a condition. The condition is in criteria that is like. Whenever you are matching text string, you use like. You want exact match and you say equal to. But in this case, it is like. We don't know what is there after calf. So like within double quotes, CAF star and end the double quote. So think so we're assuming the the product starts with CAF. There may be something before that. We don't know. So we'll look at that as well. So you're done. You know select. We have selected what we want. Where it is coming from, um, that is from prod coffee. And here is the where, the criteria. So we can run the query now. Run. So you see you have two products. Cafe latte and the cafe mocha, or whatever you want to pronounce that. Mocha, yes. And we get the answer. There are two. Now you want to go back to the query, say view, design view. If I say, you know what, the calf can come anywhere in between or in the beginning. If you don't know where it comes, you just put a star before calf. So it is quote, star, calf, star, and double quote. So if you do this, it might pick up any product that has CAF in between. So let's go back and run this query again. Click on this run. Now you get four decaf Irish cream, decaf espresso. So you get to see now four of them because this calf is coming in between. So that's the way you query. Now, so you realize using the visual querying is very simple as long as you know what you have to do. Now, if you say, look, I don't, I'm not interested in doing visual query. I want to learn SQL. So just say view. There's an SQL view. The good thing is 
Access converts that whatever visual query you did into SQL. It has done that here. But, you know, let's go ahead and do it on our own. I'm going to delete it. So remember that six steps. So select, select. So you want product, and you also want type. If you're confused what the variable names are, the attribute names are, you can go to this table. So product and type. Since there is only one table here, you don't have to use the, um, for each variable, you don't have to attach the, the name of the table. And we'll see why you may have to do it later on. From prod coffee, where product is like star dot cap dot star within quotes and you should always end your SQL with semicolon. So it's exactly what we did before and this is the same query SQL query that came up from the visual query as well. Select from where. If you now run, you get this same answer. If you have done a mistake, you have done some spelling mistake, uh, you'll realize it gives you an error. Now don't panic. Let's go back here. SQL view. And I'm going to make uh, some spelling mistake like product. The product is a table name. By, cha by mistake, I wrote, uh, let's say, KT. P-R-O-D-U-K-T. Now, uh, if I run this query, the system says, I don't understand what is product, so it might gives you, give you some error. Let's run it. And you get an error. Enter parameter value, which means you know that you have made a spelling mistake somewhere. Let's go back and change it to product. Now everything is fine. Now run the query. You get the answer. So that's very simple if you understand the logic, how to use visual query or to type everything in SQL.